In this video, I'm going to show you how to analyze the distribution of a categorical variable in Google Sheets. There are two basic things we might want to do. First, we might want to make a frequency distribution table. Second, we might want to make a bar chart. Let's start with the frequency distribution table. The easiest way to do this is to go to Data, click on Pivot Table, and it opens a new tab. You can, down here in the bottom, you can navigate between your original data over here on the left and your pivot table on the right. Now I want to make a frequency distribution table of rates. I want to know how many people of each racial category answered my survey. So over here on rows on the right I'm going to click add and I'm going to scroll down scroll down and choose rates. And that gives me the labels. Now I need to populate this table with numbers. So I'll go over to values, click on add, scroll down and click on race again. And there we go. There you have a frequency distribution table. It has the count of people in each category. So this survey, 45 people answered the survey, 24 whites, 17 blacks, two both. That's a poor label. I don't know what both means. You should probably make your labels more clear. The survey was taken four years ago. I doubt anybody re remembers what they meant by both. Now what if we want to change this from count to uh, percentages? Easy enough. We go over here under values where it says show as default. We will choose percentage of column. And there you go. You can see 30. Well, first let's round those off. So I'll select all those numbers. Go up here to format number go down here where it says zero percent click on that there i got rid of the uh, extra decimal places you say 38 percent of our respondents were said they were black two percent said they were filipino two percent said they were hispanic and so forth four percent were both and 53 percent white so there you go it's that easy to make a frequency distribution table now let's look at making um, making a bar chart so using these tabs down here i'm going to navigate back to the data and uh, let's make a bar chart of race. So I'm going to click on, this is the column for race, column S. I'm going to click on the S to select the entire column. Go up here to insert, insert chart, and we should just get a bar chart once Google stops thinking about it, and there it is. A beautiful bar chart. Uh, let's look at what, what's going on here in case you want to edit it. Now this is the data range. These are S, we we looked at cells S1 to S1047. There are not that many. <laughs> there are not that many rows. Let's see how many rows there actually are. There are 47 rows, right? We can just we can just select select the rows we're actually using. Let's try it again and see if we get the same table. We should insert chart. Yeah, exactly the same table. There's S1 to S46. Uh, you can look at some of the other options. You can have a pie chart. I recommend not using pie charts because once you get more than two or three categories, it's difficult to compare the sizes of these tiny little slices. It's much easier to compare the, the, the height of bars than it is to compare the width of slices in a pie chart. So, uh, in a pie chart. So, my recommendation is always use bar charts, never use pie charts. There's really no good reason to use a pie chart. Uh, there are some other options here. Click these three dots. You can delete the chart. You can download it as an image. So, if you want to uh, publish it in your final report, you can download the image. You can publish it on the web uh, and so forth. Okay, so it's that easy to begin to analyze the distribution of categorical variables. That's all there is to it.